Hey everybody, this is just going to be a quick video, um, sorry I have to keep my voice down, as people are sleeping, um, we're just doing a free topic this week, um, just chatting about our lives and checking in, um, talking about where we are with gender at the moment, that sort of thing. Um, so, uh... I guess <clears throat> I'm still sort of in the process of coming out to my family, um, which proved very difficult over the holidays. Um, still hasn't gotten to a point where I've wanted it to be, um, and that's subsequently making me pause about coming out to my friends um, and my um, university mates and whatnot. Um, so that's been a bit strange. Um, but I'm, I, you know, it's one of my, it's been one of my New Year's resolutions to, um, to get to a good place with my family about gender. So I'm really hoping that that is going to change soon. Um, but hopefully, you know, within the next few weeks. Um, it's just weird because I'm, I live in a different country to my family. And I speak to them, you know, once or twice a week, um, with the wonders of the internet, but it's, um, really a bit disconcerting to tackle huge issues like this, um, over Skype or over email when, when I can't have a face-to-face -face discussion. A lot of times I feel like I say things better when I write them, um, but this isn't I don't know, for some reason I, I kind of want to say it. Um, in other news, uh, I've got a new binder recently, um, just re replacing an old one, I'm wearing the old one now, but the new one is just here. Brand spanking new for anybody who's FTN or genderqueer. I recommend this. It is the um, 983 style from Underworks and it's great. The one I've got on now um, I've had for uh, just under a year and it's really comfortable. Barely know it's there and it does the trick pretty well. This one's a little old so um, but I'm about 5'9 uh, and quite broad shouldered, um, so I'm not terribly slim. And this binder definitely does the job. This one is like bam, but I haven't got it on right now, so I can't model it for you. Um, but if, if anybody's any questions about that, I definitely recommend Underworks. Um, they seem to be sort of the safest and most versatile model of Binder. Um, so definitely recommend that one. Oh, and I, given my um, size, I have a medium and that seems to work for me. Um, if anybody is interested. And what else is new? Um, well, I'm back in England which is a bit different because most of my close friends who were at home when I was home um, knew that I was trying to queer and most of them here don't and I'm meeting a lot of new people right now I'm, I'm co-directing um, co a play um, and uh, doing some new stuff with my department so it's, a, it's always a bit strange to have to introduce myself um, by a name that I don't prefer, and that is still the case in a lot of situations. Um, I mostly go by um, my birth name at university. When I go into London to do stuff, a lot of times I'm able to introduce myself as Jack, um, but yeah, it's just sort of up and down. Um, 
in that respect. And well, I suppose I can talk about um I play on uh, this just this year. I don't know if I mentioned this before or not, but just this year I started playing for um our football team, um, the university football team, which is soccer for Americans. Um, I'd never really played before. Uh, well, I did when I was really young, but thought I'd give it a try because I really enjoy watching Premier League football. Um, but of course, I'm on the women's team. Uh, I made the team. I'm a goalkeeper, um, and it's really fun. I really enjoy it. But I'm on the women's team, and somebody asked me recently, one of my trans friends asked me recently, um, what is that like, being genderqueer and um, being on a gendered sports team? Um, and I, I may have talked about this before, I can't remember, but um, basically it's, it's interesting, I just, um, I, I just had my first few matches and practices and whatnot, um, and it's been really good. Um, I, you know, more than ever I feel like um, my gender really isn't uh, much of an issue because um, during training and during games, like it's different when we go out for socials and whatnot, but during training and during games, it's, you know, gender is just really not an issue. Um, everybody is really just committed to the to the sport, and um, I don't know if it was a cultural thing or just a general sport thing, but um, it's just a new experience for me because the last time I played organized sports, I was perhaps nine, and I was on the ultimate frisbee team, which was great. But um, that's, that, that was my previous experience and now I'm a proper football lad in it so yeah um what else I've got pet rats now which is exciting so I'll show you here um you can just see one of them uh poking his nose out there that one's mine his name is Obi Wan and Gilbert is in there somewhere but they're really fun. Um, really been enjoying them. I would take them out, but they're still a little scared. Um, I've never had rats before or any kind of rodent, so enjoying them, working out stuff as we go along. Um, still house training them a bit, but uh, they seem to be working out well. So I really miss having pets. I really miss leaving my when I leave my dog behind at all. But, um, hopefully next week I will be able to introduce you properly. So, on that note, I'm going to let you go, and I hope you all have an excellent week.